Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. When it comes to Nami and Usa, although they could be two of the smartest people on the crew, I mean, of course, maybe next to Chopper and Robin, they're not exactly known for being exceptionally powerful, and in really a lot of pressured situations, they end up running away and aren't even that sneaky at that. And with that, it also makes them very unpredictable because they have to run away from a lot of fights that other crew members would just merely step up to. And also, another challenge for Nami and Usopp is that they currently don't possess any devil fruit. However, there could be some in the future that would combine beautifully with both Nami and Usopp's personalities and might be an interesting kind of story mechanic in the future. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Nami and Usopp, which devil fruits match their combat style and even their personalities, and what might make it really interesting and to see them do in the future. But before we go fruit shopping with Usopp and Nami, if you're new to the channel or even if you've been around for a bunch of episodes, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like or even consider subscribing and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out and motivates us to make more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing your favorite video with a friend. But without further ado, let's talk about these fruits. So my friends, the power of a devil fruit is extremely valuable and the higher the rarity, the greater its power. Now we've seen some fruits appear throughout the story and although they could be considered useless, one could also argue that maybe just whoever currently possesses it isn't the greatest use user of said fruit, because overall, it requires training and creativity of the user. But as we've seen with other examples, when used properly and in the right way, devil fruits can become a immensely powerful tool on the battlefield. Looking at the composition of the Straw Hat crew, about half have devil fruits, and the ones that don't have them are Nami, Usopp, Frankie, Sanji, and of course Zoro. And that is most likely due to their choice, or maybe just because they haven't come across a fruit that was available or even interested them. So with all the this time of the Straw Hats being at sea and not ever really coming across Devil Fruit. Of course, this is to be expected because Devil Fruits in the world of One Piece are exceptionally rare. It does, however, open up the possibilities that there still could be fruits to be found and the Straw Hats, especially Nami and Usopp, could really benefit from the right Devil Fruit. Now, don't get me wrong. Nami and Usopp are absolutely clutch and have delivered in some really key moments throughout our whole story. But it also is something to be said that as we move on to these final arcs and this last saga of One Piece where our great battle for really the fate of the world is going to be, we have to understand and acknowledge that as we move into these final battles, our crew members are going to have to bring everything possible to the battlefield, not only to win the day and possibly settle the fate of the world, but also so N Nami and Usopp can achieve their dreams. So let's start with our sniper of the Straw Hat Pirates, Usopp. He's an ordinary human and oftentimes when you you look at the story of One Piece, Usopp is kind of the everyman character, that person that most of us could see ourselves being on the crew. Now, not only is he an amazing, amazing marksman, but he's also the biggest liar on the crew. And his dream is, of course, to be a brave warrior of the sea, as well as see his father and kind of earn his respect. But so far, we've seen that he really doubts himself and needs to build up his courage a little bit more in order to follow and achieve his dream. Now, aside from his creativity and just absolutely absolutely great intellect for invention. Usopp's amazingly great aim is something that really sets him apart. Now, he may not be as skilled as his father or some other character that uses weapons at long range, but we've seen Usopp pull off some amazing shots that really, had he not made it, we wouldn't necessarily be where we are in the story today. And bringing back Usopp's intelligence to the discussion, he uses a slingshot in some amazingly creative and supportive ways. And his mastery of pop greens, where he seems to have a tool for any situation. And even before his pop greens, if we look at what Usopp did with dials throughout the Skypea arc, and all of the other things that he's been able to do, including his gigantic hammers, it's been something that really sets Usopp apart. But again, Usopp still lacks that all-important self-confidence in his skills and his role on a crew that really has some monstrous individuals on. And whenever he tends to face scary opponents, he generally tends to try and lie, bluff, or just simply avoid the conversation altogether unless it's absolutely necessary to take on that opponent directly. So in an SBS segment, Oda Sensei thought that a very interesting fruit for Usopp to have would be the Poke Poke no Mi, a paramecia fruit that allows the user to store various things inside hidden pockets all over their body. Now, Oda Sensei said that this fruit would be exceptionally good for Usopp because it has an almost infinite storage capacity, which would allow Usopp to store ammunition and all kinds of other various gadgets and accessories in his pockets to be able to use whenever he wants in combat. Now, 
Now, although this fruit is neither offensive nor defensive, when it's used by the right person, like a support or a shooter, that would really take its ability to really the pinnacle of what it can be used for. And although he may not be at the same power level as, say, Luffy or Sanji, Zoro, or even Jinbei, Usopp still gives his all to always try and help his crew. And although quite cowardly, in several moments, he's put his fear aside and managed to save his companions, and also shown that he has an amazingly great dormant courage. Through the use of a fruit like the Poke Poke no Mi, Usopp would be able to become much more confident in battle, since he could really keep anything he wanted in his pocket, and could always have a quote-unquote ace up his sleeve and ammunition for his slingshot, or even really amazing tools that he could use that would be able to keep his opponents guessing how they would ever defeat him. Because, you see, it's this very unpredictable nature of Usopp that would give him this big advantage during combat, allowing him to trick and even defeat his opponents with some tool that he just has dreamed up. And also with this fruit, Usopp would not need to worry about the amount of projectiles that he has. He could just use whatever and, I mean, for all we know, might even be able to have a whole pop green nursery in his pockets. And not only that, it may give him his ability to take all of his different uses and inventions to an even greater level. Just like I said earlier in the video, think back to how creative Usopp was able to use dials back in the Sky PR, which are of course shells that have different abilities that can be communication devices, all the way up to things that can store and reflect energy back at attackers. And Usopp still has a ton of them, but he sometimes needs to keep them on the boat because imagine how much those shells would weigh. And even if Usopp had some tricks or, you know, there was some of that manga physics where he had just an unbelievable carrying capacity, eventually he'd run out of pockets. But with the Poke Poke no Mi, Usopp would be able to carry pretty much anything he wanted. And not only that, it wouldn't compromise how fast and agile he could be in combat, which again, with the right user, any fruit can be exceptionally powerful. So that is why it makes this fruit such a great match for Usopp and would be an amazing addition to just the fighting capacity of the crew. Now, let's talk about the Cat Burglar and our favorite navigator, Nami. Now, as the title says, Nami is an extremely skilled thief and has stolen many pirates' treasure and treasure maps during her lifetime. But even though she's been able to steal a lot, she's never been able to acquire the power of a devil fruit. Although, Nami has been able to make the most of her knowledge and skills. Now, because of Nami's connection to the weather, there have been a lot of people in the community who have said, well, what about the Goro Goro no Mi, the lightning fruit that Anel had? But with it all considered, Anel's fruit isn't available. So if we think about Nami's personality and how she kind of moves around and really uses some of her sneakiness and has even used it in past fights, we gotta go with something that really matches Nami's personality. And that would be the Mani Mani no Mi, a fruit that would allow Nami to be able to change her face into anybody she's ever touched with her hand, becoming exactly like the person who was touched by her, not only with the same face, but the same body and even the same physical strength that the person has, in addition to their resistances. Now, we do want to clarify that although this fruit does steal the physical appearance and makeup of the user, it does not copy devil fruit powers. So, we still have to consider, though, the amount of effectiveness that Nami could use a fruit like this in their travels. And something that you might not have thought about is there's a really distinct tactical advantage that Nami would learn. You see, if Nami took on the physical appearance, sure, she might get the physical, natural strength of a person, but she'd also get the opponent's disadvantages and weaknesses, allowing her to learn about where to hit her opponent so Nami knows how to directly defeat them. Now, the current bearer of the Mani Mani no Mi, of course, is Bon Chan, and he has perfect recollection of every person who's he's ever copied. But to be fair, we don't necessarily know if this is a product of the fruit or just if Bon Clay has an amazingly deep photographic memory. But if somehow this fruit were to come along with the memory of the previous user, this could be something that could be further awakened and even developed, where Nami might even evolve the power where she can transform into any person she wants without ever having needed to touch them. This seemingly simple ability not only would give Nami the ability to use a ton of different disguises during robbery or infiltration or even just misdirection on the battlefield, but she could also use it during combat, being able to switch bodies to adapt in a fight against a really strong opponent. Now again, she wouldn't be able to copy the power
powers of a devil fruit, but she would be able to do some still creative things. As we saw when Bon Chan was fighting against Chopper, he was able to copy the hybrid form face of one of Chopper's fighting points, which was only able to happen because of the reindeer's Hito Hito no Mi. So some body changes do seem to be able to be copied by this fruit. And another thing worth mentioning is even though you might be able to copy somebody's body, it doesn't mean that you're gonna have the muscle memory and same ability to use techniques as the real owner of that body. And to add on top of that, the user might not be able to use their own techniques depending on the form. For instance, again, when Bon Chan was fighting the crew, he was unable to use his Okama Kempo while in Nami's form due to the fact that he really hadn't trained as much to be able to use Nami's body and move like she knew how to move. And also remember that this is the person's form and what they look like. We're not gonna copy tools or unique items or even clothes that the original person is wearing. So whenever a person was kind of going to change their face with the money, money, no me, they would still have to improvise and wear different clothing to maintain their disguise. But that also brings up another important point as well. Although you would have the look and sound and build of the person, it doesn't mean that you'd be able to fake that person's personality, which would mean that Nami would have to be able to perform exceptionally well to fool any of her opponents during a mission, especially when it was something about infiltration and she absolutely wanted to avoid drawing attention of their opponents. But one of Nami's other great powers is she is exceptionally intelligent, and it really wouldn't take her long to analyze the behavior of her opponents so that she could copy them. And then, in a way, especially for infiltration and espionage, she would be able to act like that person, something that for other people might be something considerably difficult to do. So this is why Nami would be able to make an extremely good use of this fruit, because as we move forward, we gotta know that one of the things that is most important in huge and epic battles is, of course, intelligence and information. And it may be necessary that somebody from the crew is gonna have to go into places like, say, Marie-Joie or places like the Marines to find out where things are going and who's headed where to come up with the best battle plan that they can. But with all that said, my friends, these are the two fruits that we feel that would most benefit Nami and Usa. Not just the ones that would just go along with their combat style, but also would be something that they personally could use in a very creative and effective way, allowing them to add on to the levels of support that they already do for the crew. And even though these might be considered just, you know, support paramecia fruit, remember, it is how the person uses the fruit. I mean, if we think about the time-stopping ability that Foxy has, that could be a world battle-ending power. It just so happens that the user of that power is the most inept user of that power who could ever own that power. So, as we've seen in this Wano arc, Nami and Usopp were able to improve their techniques and have grown as characters. We don't want to take that away from them. But we also have to really acknowledge that moving forward, as we said earlier, everybody on the crew is going to have to bring everything they have and potentially more so that they can win out and save and bring light to the world of One Piece. But for now, we'd love to know what you think about it. What fruits do you think would match everybody's, you know, personality and abilities? And not just Nami and Usopp, but let's say Sanji, or do you think Frankie would ever go with some kind of a devil fruit? Or do you think perhaps because he's a cyborg, he might not be able to use one? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Well, with all that said, my friends, I want to thank you all so much for the watching the video all the way up to the very end. Now be sure you comment on themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like or hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.